ready to go. This is me from the Canadian RVer. And where we are today is the uh, Tampa RV Super Show for 2023. And I'm here with the CEO and President of Battleborne Batteries, Dennis, and we're going to talk about a brand new product that they're releasing. Dennis. How are you doing? I'm uh, very well. Very well. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the new stuff because we just launched it today. Um, and there's actually a couple different facets to this to this launch. First of all, we have an overarching capability to all of our batteries uh, that has to do with communication. And we call this the Dragonfly Intelligence System. And really what it refers to is a wireless me mesh network where we have all the batteries communicating with each other and with all the accessories in the system. Um, so this, this is a battery, uh, 112, that has the Dragonfly Intelligence System capability. So internally, it has the capability to communicate via Bluetooth with, with the user via cell phone or iPad or whatever. Um, but it also has the capability to communicate with all the other batteries that are equipped with the uh, intelligence system. And all of the batteries can communicate with our hub. This hub can then deliver the aggregated information via Canvas, via Bluetooth to your phone. Uh, nice. um, it can communicate with uh, inver in inverter you want to use, Schneider inverter, Victron inverter. So there's a very high level of functionality. Um, on top of that, we step over here, uh, we are using this system, leveraging this capability to deliver a higher voltage system. This is a 48 volt system um, and it is equipped with the Dragonfly Intelligence System. It can communicate with other, what we call this the wing, uh, it can communicate with other wings, it can right, communicate right. with the hub. Um, and. Very importantly, we've developed a new balancing technology. When you go to higher voltages, right, it's difficult to balance, to keep all your cells in balance. So we've developed something called hybrid balancing technology, where you can not only ensure that this wing is always in perfect balance, you can charge it not just with a 48 volt system, but you can charge it with a 12 volt system as wow, well. That's so incredible. you can yeah. actually um, set this, if this is a, so this is in 48 volt mode. I'm doing this manually, but you can do this uh, remotely as well with your cell phone. Um, so if we, uh, so it's really cool. So any voltage that you have access, either either a solar panel uh, voltage, a 12 volt charging system, or any other charging system, this will accommodate now. It can, yeah. But when you're when it's delivering power, it can deliver right. power at at 48 volts or at 12 volts. So now it's in you know, 48 volts. And if you want to actually charge it or use 12 volts, then you can look at 12 volt mode. And we don't have it connected now, but we've got a third uh, bus bar there that's going to allow for it. So it's, it's pretty unique. So that's, you know, all this stuff is, is uh, patent pending. We've been trying to innovate and come up with functionality and devices that we know the customer wants, that the industries need, whether you're a you know, in an RV or whether you're in your home or on a boat. Right, right. Um, so, and I will say we've got one other device that's not here right now. We call the, the Ion, which is basically another uh, Dragonfly intelligence capable device that will take the information and allow you to trigger something else if there's an event that happens. If you've got a warning or an imminent shutdown or an actual shutdown, whether that's a temperature, <laughs> voltage, current, short circuit, whatever, and that can trigger something else to happen, bells and whistles yeah, or, you know. Yeah, right. So, you know, we've really tried to deliver the most amount of functionality to the user as well. Yeah, very nice, very nice system. Now, on the battery, how many of these batteries can we, can we put in series, parallel, does it matter? Any configuration? Well, the only the only limitation is 48 volts, um, so you can put right. them in series up to 48 volts. And uh, in terms of parallelization, there's really no uh, limitation. Right. There, there, there is certainly is uh, is protection for each battery in terms yeah. of, of high current situations. So um, our batteries have always had that capability. So this is just an extension of our current of our current battery. When I installed uh, four of these, four hundred amp hours uh, in my coach, uh, my challenge was, of course, uh, the alternator charging the batteries and 
I know I talked to your tech support guys, which are fabulous, because many times I was worried that I was going to hurt my generator mm -hmm. by charging it after I used the batteries. But I'm good. I, I've done the math, and, and with your tech support, fabulous people there, um, we're good. We're not even... <laughs> the generator, of the alternator, does get warm when it starts up, but of course cools pretty quickly as we start to drive with the, the cooling and the fan. So everything is good. Well, as you know, we've had a, well, you may or may not know about our the, the well-publicized acquisition we did last year with the Wake Speed. So oh, we yeah. actually acquired uh, Wake Speed, uh, all their assets, their technology, specifically for um, managing alternator charging, especially at 40 hours. Yes. So 12-volt yes. alternators aren't as big a deal. There's right. hit, There's um, capabilities in those alternators to mitigate the voltage spikes that could do damage. It's harder with 48 volt alternators. Right. So yeah, it's, what it's more voltage. Yeah. It, yeah. So what is more important with 48 volt alternators is that you have a way to monitor imminent shutdowns. Um, and so that's what the the Dragonfly intelligence system will, will yeah. allow you to do. And it will communicate with the wake speed, which it communicates with the alternator. Yes. We can take the data from the hub, for example, aggregates all the cells in the system, it can uh, determine what charging current is suitable for that state of charge, and then ultimately if there's an imminent shutdown, it can uh, basically cut off the charging before any of those like that. Is the app available now on the app stores? Uh, not yet. Oh, we not are we are in, in beta yes. testing right now, yes. so this is all this. We are looking for a springtime release. A springtime release. Yes. Well, thank you so much for all of your yeah. knowledge and, and thanks for your interest. To, to, to hear from Mark Melbourne.